Hey everyone, it's John, and today what we're going to do is some netcon configuration. So let's do it. So in my previous video, I had talked about the concept of desired state. And in that video, I was able to implement desired state using netconf. Now, unsurprisingly, I did receive some comments from people wanting to know how I was able to construct the netconf payload to configure the device. This is largely due to the fact that you have to construct this payload in the correct Yang format. Now Yang by far is the biggest barrier to API based automation in my opinion. Now I know I'm going to sound biased here, but if you want to understand Yang, the best thing to do is go to CBT Nuggets and watch Knox Hutchinson's deep dive called Mastering Yang. But in any case, what I thought I would do in this video is give you a simplified workflow to help you be able to construct these netconf payloads. Now what I should say from the get go is that this method is not meant to be a complete substitution for being able to consult the Yang models in detail using something like PyYang. Very often you're still going to want to use this because there are some intricacies to Yang that you're going to have to explore. Now the first thing I'm going to say is this demonstration is going to be based on configuring Cisco iOS XE devices. And the type of models we're going to be using here are the native Yang models for Cisco XE. So the workflow in this demonstration is tailored for this platform here. So here's the thing, the Yang model is like one big massive tree with all these branches spidering off into little sections. Now in the Cisco iOS XE native model, there is a root container called simply native. Now in real terms, you can think about using native as a way to do your show run. It's going to pick up all the models on the box running on the configuration and pull it back in its Yang structure. Now here's the thing, when you do this show run and pull the native model, within that you're going to see more models within, more specific models. So say for example, within native you're going to see an NTP container, you'll also see a router container, and lots of other stuff, so say for example an SNMP server container. And for example, within the router container, we've got even more specific containers. For example, we've got the OSPF container, we've got the EIGRP container, and we've also got the BGP container. Now, I suppose I should plant a flag here and say that depending on the iOS model you're using, the iOS XE model, should I say, there actually has been an amendment to the native model in recent images. So if you're following along and you're using a newer image, maybe an image on the Cisco DevNet sandbox, you might find that this container is actually called Router OSPF, and the EIGRP one, for example, is now called Router EIGRP. So just in case you're watching this video, following along, and it looks a little bit different from me, just be aware there has been some amendments made to the Yang model, and you will actually have to change your payload accordingly to match this. But the good thing is, the workflow I'm going to show you will make this a pretty easy transition. So now with that quick little primer out of the road, how about we dig in and do some automation. So if I go into my first script called get.py, what I'm going to do is use Scraply netconf to send a netconf get request. Now the way you can filter this quite easily is using something called xpath. This is the filter type we are going to use. Now remember what I said, the very root container of the native model is simply called native. So if I just specify this native model, it's going to pull everything which is on the box relative to the native container, i.e. everything on the box is going to come back in its Yang structure. So let's run this script in. So I do a python3 get.py, and there we go. So what we've done here is pull back the running configuration in the Cisco native Yang model, and it's been encoded in XML. So if you look at the tags, you can see things like a username has a name called John. That's because I've set the username to John. That username has a privilege of 15 and it has a password of Cisco. So we were able to successfully pull this running configuration and get it back in its native Yang format. Okay, so how does any of this relate to being able to configure a netconf payload? So let's say we wanted to configure, I don't know, EIGRP via netconf. The very first step we're going to take is to configure it via the CLI. Yup, you didn't hear that wrong. Because here's the thing, we know how to configure it on the CLI quite easily. And then when we send that get request to pull the running configuration within that XML, within that Yang data, we're going to see the EIGRP Yang structure within that tree. And this is what we're going to use as our template. Okay, so let's go on to the device and we'll say conf t. And what we'll do is we'll configure router EIGRP with an autonomous system number, I don't know, 55 maybe. We'll also configure the EIGRP router ID and we'll make that all the ones. We'll then just advertise a network of 192, 168, 
I don't know, 5.0, the Slash 24 mask, and maybe we'll also advertise a loopback. Okay, great, so this is now running on the box. So if we do a show run, and we scroll all the way down, now we have the EIGRP within the running configuration. So how about we pull that same running configuration over netconf and see how it comes back to us in XML. So let's run this script yet again. Okay, so we've pulled the running configuration, we've got it back in its Yang format encoded in XML. What we're now going to do is scroll through this and identify where our EIGRP configuration is. And we can see we've got the EIGRP configuration here. But this time we're seeing it in its native Yang structure, encoded in XML. So what I want you to notice here is that this EIGRP configuration is slightly indented within this router tag. And this is what I was talking about with this tree. We've got the native at the very top, and we've got other things like SNMP and NTP, but we've also got this router container. And within the router container, we've got further containers, such as in this example here, EIGRP. And again, on the newer models, this now might say router EIGRP, it just depends on the version you have. But mine says EIGRP, so we're going to stick with this. So what I want to do is pull the native model, but I want to go more specific. I just want to get things within the router container. So I'm going to amend my script to be a little bit more specific. And rather than just pull the native, I'm now going to append it with router. And that should just bring me back this data here. So let's amend our script and do that then. So let's modify this script then. So now our filter isn't just going to pull the entire native model, we just want a subset of that native model and we want to pull within the router tags. Okay, so let's rerun the script. And bam, what we've got is just the configuration we need. Now logically you might think that the next step would be to do native forward slash router forward slash EIGRP. But for our configuration, because we're doing an operation of place, you actually can't do this. This is a Yang constraint. Now I get into a lot more detail of this type of stuff within the CBT Nuggets dev core course, which is coming out soon. But for now, just for this short little video, take it from me that we can't do it at this level, so we're going to have to replace everything within the router level. Now, as it transpires, the only router configuration we have on the box is EIGRP. We don't have any OSPF, we don't have any BGP anyway. So this is the payload that we're going to use as our template. So the next step is that we want to copy everything from the data tags. So let's just grab you, data, all the way down to data, and let's just paste this in here. Okay, so the third step is that we have to change these data tags because what we're going to do is push a configuration. So all we do is we change the data tags to simply be config tags. So we'll just delete this and change it to config and down the bottom one as well, change that to config. Now in my desired state video, what I was doing was an operation of place to impose desired state. So if I want to do this, I need to do one final amendment here. I need to modify the tag where I'm going to do my replacement. So we're doing native and we're doing forward slash router. On this tag here, router, this is the one here I'm going to target. Now just to plant a flag yet again, this is how you construct this on Cisco iOS XE. If you're using something like Cisco iOS XR, it's a little bit different yet again, which is a little bit frustrating, but what can we do? Okay, so what I'm going to say here as I'm going to say operation equals, and then in inverted commas, I'm going to say replace. Now we have a valid payload, which we can send to the device, which will replace the configuration with whatever values we specify here. So just for fun, let's just change these values up a little bit. We'll change this to 192, 168, 77, and we'll maybe change this to 8.8.8 .8 .8 for the network. Okay, anyway, so let's just copy all this now. This is our valid payload. Okay, so I'm going to go into another script called Vim Config Tester. We'll use this to push configurations. So in this case, all I'm doing is using Nornir to render a Jinja template. And I'm going to call this template root.j2. You can call it anything you want. And I've specified that this template is within my templates folder. And all I'm going to do is create a variable called routing underscore output. And that is going to be contingent on the routing template, which is this here. And to get the actual template, we need to take the dot result attribute. This is the actual rendered template. And after which we're going to use scraply netconf to send a netconf edit config. We're going to target the running configuration. And the configuration we're going to push is this variable we just created called router output, which is based on the template we just rendered. So what I'm going to do is create a Jinja2 template called root.j2. And I'm just going to copy paste in that payload we just created. So I'll cd into my templates folder. And as you can see, I've got nothing in this folder so far. And 
what I'm going to do is create this little template called root.j2 and then we're going to use the good old faithful copy pasta and just paste this in. Now as it stands this really isn't a Jinja2 template as such because I'm doing no variable substitution or anything but we can push this to test the configuration and then modify it as we wish. So let's save this. So right now remember we have our EIGRP configuration these values here but we made some amendments within our payload so when we push this new payload these should all change so let's do a python 3 config tester and boom there we are everything came back a-ok -okay. and you can see that within the payload we've actually changed the network we're advertising to all the eights we're also advertising the 77 network so let's verify that actually happened on the device just arrow up so let's just do one more then so let's say we wanted to configure ntp over netconf step one is configure it via the cli so we'll do ntp server and we'll just say all the sevens and we'll maybe make a second one with all the nines and we'll say prefer so if we do a do show run and section NTP, this is the NTP configuration we have on the running configuration. So let's follow the same steps yet again. Let's pull the entire running configuration using native and then we'll hunt through that configuration to find the NTP so we can get our template. Now we don't want to specify the router. Let's just get the more generic native first and we'll just do a get. Okay, so at the very bottom here, we can see that we've got our NTP tags. Now this one is not indented within anything, it's not within a router container or anything, it's just forward slash native forward slash NTP. So let's just target this configuration particularly by doing a forward slash NTP and just getting this tag here. So go in, edit, and we'll say forward slash NTP to get that tag. And rerun the script. There we go. So next thing we're going to do is copy paste between the data tags paste this in, we change data to config and within the NTP tag we want to do an operation replace so we say operation equals and then in inverted commas replace and now let's just copy you and what we'll do is we'll make a new ginger template just called ntp.j2 copy pasta and then let's edit our script again so config tester and this time the template we want to push is again within the templates folder but this time we're going to push the NTP one we just created. And in fact before I run this script what I'll do is I'll actually change the values on the NTP server. So maybe change one of these to 2.2.2. Okay, so before we run the script let's just say do show run section NTP. So currently we have all the 9s and all the 7s. If we push this netconf configuration we should now see the twos on the box and all the sevens should disappear. Python 3, config tester.py and bam, there we have it. We've done an operation replace and this time we've pushed out all the twos and again we've kept the nines the same and everything is A-OK. -okay. So let's go back to the device and we arrow up. And now we can see all the sevens has gone. That's been removed and the new configuration is 9.9.9 .9 .9 and 2.2.2.2. So these are how you can build your payloads and it's from this point that you just simply use your ginger substitution as you wish. So in reality what you would do would be to go into this template, say for example the root.j2 and you would change these hard coded values with your host variable files and use ginger substitution. So say for example this would probably look like host facts eigrp dot autonomous system and you change this to host facts eigrp red where we have our network advertisements we've got the number tag and then the wildcard tag and then that repeats again with the number tag and the wildcard tag this is where we would use a ginger for loop and if you want to see how that looks if you go back to my previous video on desired state you're going to see these types of templates but this video is just about how i was able to build that template how i was able to build it from the ground up so I simply configured it via the CLI, I pulled that information to get it in Yang in XML, used that as a template and did some basic modification. After that I just included some basic ginger substitution and ginger logic like for loops and conditional statements. Now what I will say is this type of stuff will be covered in a lot more detail in the upcoming CBT Nuggets course, the Dev Core course. And if you want to find what I think is the best demonstration and best explanation of Yang, then go watch Knox Hutchinson's Master in Yang series. So yeah, hopefully that gave you a little bit of a peek behind the curtain how I was able to build these payloads on my Cisco iOS XE devices. So keep laughing, keep practicing. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon.